All right, what's up, guys? It's your boys, man, Tijon and Noah. Hopefully, we can get Jamil in here, but, you know, it's some technical difficulties going on behind the scenes, so we'll see if he can join. But this is the All Real Crew. What's happening, my boy? Yeah, man. Tell me what I missed, bro. I'm trying to. I'm, I was barely able to tune in. You know, I was all the way in control of your narrative. So, hit me, hit me. What happened yesterday? So, let me tell you something. I called eighty percent of how that card was gonna go. <laughs> I got every winner right. So, had there been a punishment tied to yesterday, there was no way I was getting. Oh, punished. so there's I no got punishment because I had my predictions too. No, no, no punishment. No punishment. But yes. I wouldn't have gotten punished. I got every winner right, even For to real? Mike Mitchell. Wow, yeah, because that was my biggest L. I'm not gonna hold you. I definitely had Barboza winning that fight. So yeah, I slept on. I definitely slept on Mitchell. But yeah. I mean, let's talk about it, bro. Because that UFC card was was bomb. Like it was better than I thought. It had a lot longer matches, especially that last one. That last one. I'm, I have a love hate for it, honestly. Like, I think it was okay. good, but I don't know. They, it it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. I don't want to see them running back. That type of deal. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, there's a good chance they will. Um, I don't think they should. Uh, I, I too was not disappointed <clears throat> in the card. Right. But I called it Kobe won, and it was a stinker. The match was a stinker. <laughs> Granted, okay, now, you remove the aspects that there is a story and there's a rivalry. Right. Had there been two random fighters on a fight night main event card, this fight was completely fine. But if you add that all back, if you add everything back into it, the all story, the hype. It be all the hype, it was a stinker. It was bad. Yeah, um, it didn't live up to the hype. It definitely it didn't. didn't live up to the hype. I mean, I was talking about it earlier today. I expected this to be two rounds, two, three rounds max. I thought they were going to punish each other. and That's what I was rooting for. But, yeah. you know, we talked about it yesterday and how Kobe is a point guy. He doesn't he doesn't go in for the finish. In that, he did not stray away from his uh, game plan that he usually implements into his fights. Did you win? Yes. But, like, as fans and we look at it, where you know, I it leaves some questions. Should you really be proud about this one? I mean, it was a solid win, it didn't, it, was it wasn't like it was debatable. Win. It was you know a solid I mean? he win. His ass. If we're being completely honest, it wasn't like mm, it, it wasn't really he whooped his ass, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna hold you. It wasn't like he, he, he didn't win a round for real. There was some debatable he that he won, but overall, he won the he won that fight. He won that fight. No, 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 yeah. I'm not that you're not gonna get an argument from me. Yeah. But if you guys have so much animosity toward each other and y'all don't go in and brawl, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Should you really be proud about this? Like, well, it's just I mean, if I'm being honest, it looked to me we, like I said it also on the on the in the mix drain. Kobe is a wrestler, and like you said, he's a points guy. Jorge is a brawler. He's like Nate Diaz. He's going in just to fight. Whatever fight you want, that's how we're going to fight. And I think Jorge's strategy was like we all wanted. We all wanted it to be a quick, let's just bang it out and see who see who's left standing. And Colby came in with a game plan. That's what it looked like to me. No, it that, it, it, that was 100% what it was. Um, and that's what disappointed it. Cole, but Jamil said it yesterday. <laughs> if... Um, I t bro, I was I also was talking about Bryce, but we gonna talk about him. I didn't believe, yeah, I was about to say I didn't believe in Bryce Mitchell. I'm gonna be, but, I'm gonna be honest. But um, Jamil said it yesterday. He was just like, if Kobe's gonna win, it is gonna be a sucky fight, and it's gonna go all the way to the finish. Yeah. Um, and that exactly is what it was. Um, and you know, I had Kobe winning. Oh, I just Jesus. felt it in my bones that he was not gonna go out there and throw hands. <laughs> Um, it made me mad though because Jorge dropped him in the fourth and he didn't apply pressure. It's that I'm Diaz, there, bro. I'm telling you, I'm sitting I'm, there. I know I saw it. I, <laughs> we all saw it. We was like, 
man, this, like that's how they fight for whatever reason. That they just go in for like the what ifs. It's it's stupid. Like I don't understand it, and it blew the hell out of me. And after that, I was like, I don't even want them to win. I don't, I don't want it to run back. At the end of the day, I do not want to see this again. I know they're probably going to do it, but they don't need to. I mean, at the end, like honestly, Colby is really on a different level. I think that the way that they prepped for the fight showed that too. So, like, you know, Colby's where he's, where he's at, and Jorge's on like, where he's at. I just think that it's just two different levels, and I don't think Jorge's going to catch up. No, you're right. Um, but the crazy part is they're going to run it back. Why? Because what? My There's still money. some meat on the bone. Jesus Christ. I hate that shit so much. Man's always Dana talking White, about meat. Dana White, Dana White going to do whatever he can to get money. And, and there's still money to that, um, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, oh. but we'll see. Yeah, we got a quick comment. Somebody want to know, you watch a revolution tonight? I will probably not be, but I will be <laughs> keeping up with the highlights. Now, I um, said I might, yeah, I might tune in. I might tune in to this we'll one. I normally don't, really don't really watch AEW, but for that, I might tune in. Yeah, I watch right. it. I keep up with it. I just won't be watching tonight. Um, that match is going to be very interesting just because, uh, you know, this is like a knockoff strap match. Um, but they've got dog collars on their necks. So we'll see. We'll see. This is a, it, it, it honestly has the recipe of disaster if you take kayfabe away from it. Somebody mm. can get seriously fucking hurt because that's a dog collar tied around your neck. <laughs> um, but man, NJF is on another fucking level right now. I yeah. mean, he's, 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 CM Punk called him, referred to him as like a, broke Miz or fake Miz or whatever, <laughs> but he's like, he's 25, 26, and he's levels above where Miz was at 25, 26. I was about to say, he he does have Miz's character on lock, but he's got a lot of growth potential, like a, a mm-hmm. lot of growth potential. And you can see why WWE kind of, kind of wants him. Um, oh, yeah. And he's been kind. Of, he's he's already said that he may play the field in a couple of years when he's a free agent. So, I think we'll him going see. to WWE would be good. Like that's like good. the only signing that I would co- like that I would agree with. I think he belongs in WWE. It would be good. You, you but said it wouldn't. It would. It would. It uh, would. It would yeah. be good for all sides. Yeah, most definitely. But you know, going back into this, one other one. Uh, let's talk about Edson Barbosa and Bryce Mitchell first. Because that one, I was like, I was pleasantly surprised. I knew about Bryce, but I didn't think that he was going to come out and put on the show that he did against Edson Barboza. For real. I Bryce Shrew. You watch The Office? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Dwight Shrew's brother right there. He do look Dwight like his brother. I was about Dwight to say that. Shrew. I was like, he don't look like Dwight. He looked like his brother. Thug Nasty. Thug Nasty Bryce Mitchell. Bryce Shrew. Hey, that look. Dog. That man. I a- said... I said yesterday, for him to go to the next level, he has to at least show that he can hang on the feet. And what did he do? He did he just dropped that. Edison Barbosa he in the did second. Just that. He did just that. I couldn't and believe I'm, it. I'm happy for him. If he can continue to, you know, evolve his, his stand-up game, we really could be looking at another Matt Hughes-esque fighter and the primary reason why i say you know he could be the next matt hughes is because you know they both look like country bumpkins and they act like it too so yeah but they have very similar games matt hughes is one of the better wrestlers we've ever seen in in the sport not just welterweight division but the sport um dwight uh dwight bryce is a great grappler. I mean, just shit, like Derek hitting, just said, yeah, he hit yeah, exactly. <laughs> he hit he hit motherfuckers with twisters. So Jesus. you know, if you're able to do that, you know what I'm saying. Um, you 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 are, you are forced to be reckoned with. You know what I'm saying. So most definitely, I, this card this card, like I said, was great because we first off while we're talking about this fight, we saw possibly the the birth of a new star in the in the in the 
in the sport. Who are we talking about? Oh, Price real Mitchell. quick, though, because people are saying, what's up? What's good, Nadula? What up? I see you, bro. And Joseph, I see you. What's good, bro? What up? What up? What up? What up? Glad y'all can make it. Yeah. Man, I am tired, bro. Yeah, third one. I'm still here. We still rocking. But I got I got my three count ready, and that's what's going to push me through. <laughs> I got my three Ooh. count. And I'm going to just go ahead. Yeah. He did. He did. He did. He did. He I'm waiting on him because I know he's about to say some shit, too, because he's been waiting Ooh. on me. He's been waiting Speaking on my of alcohol. Ass, Speaking of alcohol, I know you got your three count, and you can sponsor your three count when you take yeah. it. Yeah. My sponsor, Rodney Strong. This is a bottle of uh, <laughs> That's the cheapest thing that you got so far, bro. Shout out. <laughs> You're supposed to. It's, it's, it's a bottle of Cabernet. Cabernet. Savignon. All right, all right. It's very, very, very mild wine. It's not not too not too dry. You know what I'm saying? I like I like cabs though. It's pretty pretty good. I'm not a big red wine drinker, but I will I will drink a nice glass of Cabernet. So I'm glad we got oh, yeah. that. But I'm really glad to see you take that fucking three count. So I mean, I'm not excited about it. It's just sitting there looking at me, and I'm looking at it, and <laughs> I'm trying to debate on when I am gonna take it. But Lady J said, "Get the logins." Now you think they want you to watch it, bro? You got to in. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> So we going we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That'll be something on the side. But let's get hey, back T, to the UFC. Um, T hit up Billy so I can get that jump. Yeah, right. I got you. But what are we what who's the birth? What's the birth of the new um Bryce Mitchell? The new UFC guy. Who? Bryce Bryce Mitchell could oh. be we could be witnessing the birth of Bryce Mitchell, the new star of what is it, the lightweight division. Um so you know, oh, I'm trying to be. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hit this one. <laughs> I was thinking, is he gonna see it? We could be <laughs> witnessing the, um, the birth of 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 Bryce Mitchell, the new star of the lightweight division. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, if he can continue to put together his his stand up game, he gonna be he's gonna be something to reckon with because. Oh yeah. Um, I said that if he he could beat Edison Barbosa because he he manhandled Andre Philly and Andre Philly not a he's not a bad fighter. Mm -hmm. Um, he he was a good warm up for for Edison and it's so crazy because Edison came in to start the fight with a good game plan to combat the wrestling and mm. he uh <laughs> he, you know he was. <laughs> He was moving side to side on the outside of the octagon, and he mm -hmm. was he wasn't staying still at all. Um, but but Bryce was able to adjust. He landed him with a couple good shots that kind of you know shook him a little bit because he was like, "Oh, he really can punch." Yeah. And once he got him stationary, and once he got once he got Edison to a point where he started countering. Bryce took advantage of, of those counters, and that's when he decided to, you know, make his shoots and, and and take his double legs. So I think Bryce came in with a great, great game plan to beat one of the most prolific strikers we've ever seen in the modern era because we love Edison. I think everybody loves yeah. Edison. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this was, a, this was a shock to me, personally. I did not expect this, but that, that definitely has me – I have my eyes on on um on Bryce Mitchell now. But on as the Kurt Angle, I still give that to Matt Hughes. I haven't seen nobody yet. Uh I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, bro? Kobe Covington Kobe Covington comes mm. out to Kurt Angle's Kurt Angle's ring. Entrance, okay. So. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all I'm all gonna right, say. All right, so we got another one. I haven't heard nothing about Andraj yet. I'll be real, haven't haven't seen nothing about Jessica Andrade yet, but I'm sure she's gonna get a call soon. Like, we'll see. She should. Yeah, and she should. I want to know who Thug Rose is gonna fight next. See, that's 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 interesting, right? Because 
you know, she doesn't have to prove herself against Zhang no more. Um, Although it would be nice. Yeah, because they, they had two uh, good she fights. She needs to climb back up, though. Yeah, she does. She does. Um, I'm trying to think. Who else is... Is, is Mackenzie Dern in, in uh, Homegirl that she's fighting next? Next card, are they, are they in the same division? I don't know. Let me look. I think so. I think next up needs to be Carla Esparza, though. She's she's on a tear right now. Yeah, Esparza is um, definitely it, up next. I think. Honestly, it's got to be Carla Esparza. If it's but not, I don't if think it's that not she's her, I don't win. know who else it would be. I think that's who, just Rose. Me. Rose. Um, I don't know, man. Rose just rises to what, whoever she faces, bro. Like, mm. I really did not have her winning that first fight against Zhang, and she and she she pulled it out. She knocked her ass out. Yeah. Um, the second fight I did have Rose winning, <coughs> only because I feel like she figured out she figured out Zhang in one fight, which is pretty impre- impressive. I don't. Zang that was on fight could have went either way, though. It could have. I remember. It could have. I, I don't know if I was convinced that Rose won that fight, but I think that she had the champion's advantage, and that's why she got it. Because if that was just a regular joint, or if Zhang had the belt. She would have won. You get what I'm saying? I, I can see your point. That's a fair point. Honestly, yeah. I could have saw that fight going either way. I, I did have Rose up. I think it was what? Three rounds to one after yeah. the after the fourth. Mm-hmm. Um, so I I really going into the fifth, I thought Zhang Zhang had to knock her out to win. Or at least or at least have a really, really dominant round to win. Um, but I could see it from all all perspectives. But, yeah, and Mackenzie Dern is straw weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they are in the same division because uh, yeah, Mackenzie she's Dern number six and, right now. Yeah, her her and uh, I think it's Tisha Torres that are going up next in the next the next UFC main, uh, pay-per-view mm-hmm. card. If Dern I, wins this, she could get a call up. Like she could she could be up. She after should. That. She should. Yeah, she should. No doubt. Yeah. What yeah. else? Oh, I wanted to talk about though the Dos Anjos and Anato Moicano fight. That I was impressed by. That was that was Hanato Moicano just got a fan in me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm saying that's he, what I'm he, saying, bro. He like, showed some resolve, yo. Nigga, what? Because as soon as that, like, as soon as he started spurting blood out of his face, dog, I like man, and he kept trying, like he kept going. He did like, the ref clearly didn't want him to keep fighting. Like we all saw that. Like the um, what is it? The medical staff was over on his corner trying to see if he could keep going, did, like, the eye test, and he wanted to fight. He kept going. So, you know, that's hard. I think that somebody is- in the comments said when I did the In the Mix that he got – he's like Rocky. He was like Rocky and Apollo. I, like, he I just think- was taking – he took a beam, but he was not going. He wasn't re- He wasn't going to quit. I think that uh, – I think that um, Moicano – is another guy that we're gonna look at, and this could this could have been his star making moment too. I feel like even in a loss, he should have gotten a lot of. He should get a lot of um, confidence from this, yeah, um, because he was able to hang with a lightweight legend. Exactly, um, on like and, a week's notice, if that week's notice, you took a beating. You took a beating in the first two rounds, first yeah. three really. Even right. though he was starting to piece together some combos, he started to really be able to piece together some combos in the third round. Mm. He had already taken an ass whooping at that point. And yeah, like, the, the, the fight was over from from round two. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, really. Um, and you know, I was saying that off a of week's notice, there's no way he's more than eighty percent healthy. Right, um, he cannot be fully recovered because I was trying to compare it. That's why I don't agree with this. What you're saying, I don't think. I don't think that RDA took it easy on him. He didn't take it easy. I think that he kind of started to let up because he didn't really need to win the fight. <coughs> he was just kind of piecing him up a little bit, you know, to I make sure that, he won the round. I but think not he to... was waiting on the ref to call. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to add more damage, but. I think that's all it was. I don't think he was taking it easy on him, though. You know, I think it was like a right a step right under that. I just think he saw the damage and was like, "Oh, this man is done." You get what I'm saying? 
No, I, I agree. I agree. But, you know, I thought the Kevin Holland fight was going to be the fight of the night. I think this was strictly off the fact that Moicano showed a lot of resolve. Yeah, a lot of Moicano's gonna Mo, Moicano's definitely somebody everybody's watching now. He made a fan out of every single body that's watching now. I'm, I'm he made a fan out of me. Yeah, he made most a fan definitely. Out of me. Cause Cause I that, last, that last two minutes in that fifth round were probably the best thing we had seen all night. Yeah, Islam really start- fucked up, bro. Islam should have. He should have just did it. He should have either kept his mouth shut or he should have took the fight. Because this was a missed opportunity. Win, lose, or draw, he was not going to lose the fans if he just took the fight. No, and he wouldn't have lost his because he clearly was going to get the title shot. Like, yeah, that was his. <laughs> but now he has to beat Benny Darush, and you know you kind of delay almost what I think still is the inevitable. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I completely agree. And I mean, yeah, I, I can see that. I, I definitely see that. I don't think that he wanted to like really injure him. So I mean, I could I could agree to that. I think that he knew that, that he won the fight, so he didn't want to do any more damage than he had already done. So I, I guess I could agree to that. But what other fights really caught your eye? Were there any more? Because that's it for me. Those are like the best ones to me. Oh, Kevin Holland. Yeah. Kevin Holland. Most Kevin definitely. Holland. Bro, they were putting on a master class of technique in that first round. And I was, I was really about to open. say for the first round, then that second that round. First just round that was, away. I've <laughs> never seen a chess match so entertaining. Um, but that was good it was. because it showed the growth of Kevin Holland. <laughs> That's Absolutely. a lot of growth. Absolutely. Um, and and <clears throat> this is like a sneak peek of what, because I didn't even realize until last night that he moved down. And he's permanently in the in the welterweight division. Mm. So if this is what he looks like in the welterweight division, I think that he needs to seriously start to game planning, start to you know game plan and focus in on getting better at his wrestling. Yeah. Even if he's not going to be the guy to initiate shooting, he needs to be the guy that's going to um, work on defending takedowns. So like if yeah. he could if he could if he can gain some type of <clears throat> level of takedown defense as like Izzy, you know, it's not great, but it's good enough to be I mean, you know who's division. at the top of the welterweight division. So it's gonna have to be great. Two best that's wrestlers. So it's gonna have to no, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna have to rise to the level of of being able to stop Kamaru Usman. Um, from wrestling you to death wrestling kobe kobe covington i mean you saw you saw kobe was putting on a he put on a masterpiece of a you know a wrestling clinic last night yeah um so it's gonna have to it's gonna have to it's gonna really have to you know get to an elite level where he can really control the fight on 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 the feet because as far as i know if he's permanently in the welterweight division, if we just compare stand-up games, he he could be up there as as the one of the best, if not the best, stand-up guys in the welterweight division. That's debatable, but I see your point. I do see your point, and um, he's a he's a definite challenge to the division. I don't think that Kamaru Usman has a problem or anything to worry about with him yet. But if he continues to improve in the ground game aspect, it's going to be an issue. And he's going to have to really pay attention and study him because Kevin Holland has a lot of years left in him. He's pretty young. He's got a lot of, like, charisma that Dana White loves. And he's continuously improving. So if that trend continues, it's going to be an issue because he's going to see him very soon. Uh, Keith, I think Moicano had to. I think he had to cut. Uh, the catch weight was at 160, so I think he had to cut eight pounds because I think he was one. I think he was one. I think he was one, one like 68 when he fought. Look it up, yeah. Did I could be very wrong, but he had to cut a good amount. And his camp said he looked fairly healthy. So yeah, maybe he was fight ready. I don't know. 
I have no idea. I, I I don't have an answer for you right now, but yeah, give me a second. He cut twenty pounds in in three days. Good grief, Jesus Christ! <coughs> so he was. I know he was fucking tired. Yeah. yeah. What? Wow. Wow. But yeah. Joseph, to your point, right now, right That's now, crazier. Usman would dismantle Holland in one. Yeah. It um, wouldn't even be a competition. But nobody want to see that. Let's say, let's say you give Kevin Holland two years, and Kamaru also has that two years on his belt. And Kevin Holland improves even even fifty percent of his wrestling defense. I'd say it's a closer fight. I still would have Kamaru winning, but like I said, bro, I've always thought Kevin Holland was a a potential threat to anybody and and you want to know a big takeaway from last night <clears throat> this kevin holland psychologically and mentally was not the kevin holland we've seen in years past he it was, was way quiet. quieter he was quiet way quieter he listened and he executed and if we can get this kevin holland and he works it's gonna be over. It's a wrap. It's gonna be it's over. I definitely <laughs> agree. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like this man is evolving, and we're watching it in real time. So it's really gonna be interesting to see how far he comes in the next, like the next two years, because it's it's gonna get crazy. Um, wait, we got one more. Keith says Usman is experienced wrestling practitioner. Yeah, man, he he wrestled like four bricks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put him up there with. Brock Lesnar, that's ham. But I guess I don't know if I'd put him up there with Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar yeah. is an NCAA champ. Um, yeah, and a yeah. dominant one at that. Shit, the the reason why he he ended up in the WWE was because he's he was so damn good at wrestling. Exactly, and he he was just a fucking specimen. You know, there was no way there was no way. I'm not recruiting this guy in some form or fashion with all that size and all that speed. No way. No way. And old Brock Lesnar, like 2002, yeah. Brock Lesnar was doing shooting star splashes. Yeah. So that because he wasn't like the Brock Lesnar that we see now is is bigger than when he first came in. And when he first came in, he was huge, but he was way more athletic. He was doing like Kevin Owens shit. Have hella athletic. Yeah. So that was a whole different monster because he had youth. So, yeah, Absolutely. nah, I don't think that Kamara's on that level. Not yet. Or not ever, honestly. But, uh, yeah, man, he definitely is post Colin Brock level. <laughs> not. <laughs> That's actually kind of wild. That's a wild comment. Yeah, no. <laughs> Stop bringing up my man's Colin, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, That's a hey, wild man. comment. It really is, dog. What else? What other good ones? What else happened? What you got? In terms of UFC, that I mean, was I'm it. glad we that already... Greg Hardy's gone. I don't see him coming back. He's up out of there. Wait, he's gone, gone. That was his last fight. That was his last fight on the contract. Get out of here. Yeah, that was it. I don't think they're gonna bring him back. Thank I God. highly doubt they're gonna bring him back because he's on a slide anyway. Thank God. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> That's what everybody's ass. saying. So his ass. Oh, yeah. yes, I like Sergey Spivak. Um, I think he's got a nice game. I the problem with him is these heavyweights are fucking evolving, like like animals. Mm -hmm. They are faster. I will take these heavyweights over the past heavyweights any day. I agree. One hundred percent agree. They're I more technical. They were not technical. They were power punchers. Yep. And they were all slow, so it almost tanks. like they canceled out. <laughs> they were just tanks. Sergey. Sergey is good, but I feel like Sergey is somewhat after his time. Mm. Sergey. Sergey. You know, he's he's a little slower. He's built like a uh, Tim Sylvia. He reminds me a lot like Tim Sylvia. Um, oh man, that's interesting. That's yeah. interesting. I can see that. 
he reminds me his game plan, his build. He reminds me a lot of Tim Sylvia. Tim Sylvia was a great fighter, but that he was a great fighter for his time. Now, yeah. Sergey did beat Ty. He beat Ty, and he beat Alexi Olenek, and those yeah. are two good fighters. But if you put him against Cyril Gain, if you put him against Francis Agano, shit, if you even put him against Stipe, he's getting his shit rocked. And I'm, <laughs> I'm like, almost, you're naming three I'm guys almost, who are not losing right now, though. Like, there's nobody. There's nobody, <laughs> you know, that, but, that's facing them three. Yeah, he said he said he was someone to watch for in the heavyweight division, and you know I'm just mm-hmm. trying to. Of course, if you're gonna if you're gonna analyze and have an opinion on 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 that, you have to really look at him in the grand scope of things in terms of yeah. But I mean, all I'm saying is like when you bring in them three, like there's a reason why they are where they're at. You get what I'm yeah. saying? And I don't see anybody in the heavyweight division that is catching up to them. You get what I'm saying? Like, That's true, but. It's interesting to see what they have done to the division. Because yep. I think that to your point, Cyril Gain has it like ushered in these new or he's the forefront. I won't say ushered in. He just came in with the wave of these these new, more technical, fast, agile, big dudes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's just like the prime example of it. Yeah. And Ganu is the Deontay Wilder of the UFC, but he's starting to learn. Like he's not, he's not um stuck in his ways. But if he's gonna continue fighting, we'll see. But you know, that's kind of still up in the air. Absolutely. You yeah. know, he's start he's really starting to um um he's really starting to put together the technique part of it. Yeah. And, and with he's Stipe, starting to game plan. We haven't though. seen Stipe. I feel like his prize hurt, if we're being honest. I There's mean, no that's way a hell of a thing to like come that. back from. Did you see Did what he... happened to him? Oh. <laughs> I feel <laughs> like I feel like after he got uppercutted, his soul went to heaven for Bro, me. and then he got hammer fisted to hell. Like it was like yeah. that was so unnecessary. <laughs> I wouldn't want to step back in after that. Are you serious? No. Yo. Did you see what happened to me? I think that there's a part of him I... that really does not want to go back. And I I, I would understand. Yeah, I think I'd retire. After getting knocked out like that, I think I'd retire. That was hell. That was hell. I'm be honest. But hold up. Got a few comments too. So Keith was like, Yeah, Masvidal's diet is weird. Yeah, you know, he's got that Popeyes deal and he loves pizza. I mean, he looked like it. (laughs) Yeah, he was gassed. He got a fat pack. (laughs) Yeah. And what's this? I don't even know what you mean, Zendul. He said, kind of wondering what type of division will know it. I know I'm being the will, will, world. Will, will we be in? Yeah, so are you talking I'm, about us? Yeah, I'm he would be in the light heavyweight division. He, <laughs> I was about to say, I'm not being in the heavyweight. Fuck that. You can't pay me enough but, money. I will cut. You understand yeah. me? I'm cutting weight. I'm not going up there. You got me fucked up. I don't know who you think I am. I don't know if you're cool with me or if you don't fuck with me, bro, because that's a wild ass statement. If you think I'm stepping in with the heavyweights. Hey, I wonder how tall these people think I am. I'm five four, bro. <laughs> no, oh. I'm not. I'm five nine, but I would I would be, no, five, I would be nine. A, I I'm five nine. I'm five nine. nine. You are five nine? Be, yeah. Oh shit. My bad. I'd be a lightweight. I'd be a lightweight. I can see it. Yeah, no, I'm not, cutting as low as I possibly can. I'm not lightweight on the cab. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man. So is it time? Should I do the count out? I mean, my, my three count. Should I just get this shit out of the way? Because I'm tired of looking at it. Are we about to transition into wrestling? Or are you talking yeah. about the next fight night? Um, No, we're going to get to the next fight night later. I mean, we can hit it if you want to, but it's up to you. What do you want to do? I'm, I'm good with transitioning into wrestling. I miss wrestling. All right. So, real quick, I'm just going to touch on Control Your Narrative because I was there. We kind of talked about it um, today, too, me and Billy. It was cool, man. I had a great time. I'm not going to lie. I wish that there was better service because I was trying to join last night and I couldn't. Yeah. I also wish that, uh, you know, I wish that there was seats because I had VIP and <laughs> I didn't get no seats. I didn't really think that, you know, VIP was that different. But other than those venue complaints, you know, me just being bougie, the, the fights were cool. I don't know the names of nobody. You know, I saw Brown Strowman, which was dope. 
Um, I saw Raquel Gonzalez, and she's my height, which was weird. Uh, oh, I saw a bunch of fighters. Bro. Yeah, but I, I I thought that she was just tall for a girl. Like, no, she's tall. Like, yeah, but um, no, nah, the fights were really good. It's gonna be another one of those indies where you know they actually be fighting. It was more like a fight club, which was cool. I've never seen something like that, and they and I was told that it's gonna be mainly um recorded fights that are like done like without a live audience so when they do do live events it's gonna be huge and that was the very first one so i'm impressed it was fun i had a great time but Did, uh but why it show up huh Did no he wouldn't show up no he uh, wouldn't yeah, nah. but all right all right i'll get it done i'm gonna do it and for everybody that don't know this is my punishment it's a bullshit punishment because I should have won. And I'm always going to say that. Um, Pete Dunn lost, unfortunately, against Carmelo Hayes for the title. Yes, sir. And as bullshit as it was, I am a man of my word. The HM. So I have my dark, I have my light, and I have my beer. Here, so so are you, my dark. are all you guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, my so bad, my, my bad. dark is the Jack. Of course, and my light controvert. Like, look, bro. Okay, it was all I had. It's a kinky, but it's vodka. Kinky, never heard of that. And it, you never heard of kinky? It's like a green apple flavored vodka. Yeah, I definitely want to be having that shit for the health. I have a Bud Light seltzer sour limited edition. Sponsor, sponsor me, that Bud Light. So that's what I'll be chugging on, and it's seltzer, so it'll be worse. It's way more bubbly. So yeah. I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. I, all right? I'm not, bro. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> all right. Let's go. All right. No, Ready? you pick the order. You, 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 you're the one that won. So I'll leave it up to you. What Dark I light beer. Let's get it. Huh? Dark light beer. Let's get it. Dark light beer. All right. Ready? Yeah, I'm go. ready, man. Go. One. Ah. All Let's right. get it. Slow counts. Two. Whoa, man. Almost threw up. <laughs> All right. I'm not chugging that. I'm not chugging Three. that. No, it's yeah. It's okay. You got to finish it by the end of the, the, end of the stream. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm cool. That's the most you're going to get out of me. You got me fucked up. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get you back for this. Oh, that's sour. Hey, man, this is the first time I had this. This is the best thing I've had seltzer-wise. This don't taste like seltzer. This tastes like sour juice. All right, that's not bad. Holy shit. You talk. I need to recover. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm actually struggling. All right, so what's Woo! next? I know we're getting into wrestling, but what part of wrestling are we getting into next? Just talk to talk to Derek or some shit before I throw up. Give me a minute. I didn't oh, need like 30 Lord. seconds. Nah. So Ooh. over the weekend. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Over the weekend. <laughs> WWE <laughs> had a live event at Madison Square Garden. And this is probably the most memorable scene from that event. Roman Reigns standing over Brock Lesnar with both titles in his hand and saying as the following, Brock Lesnar will acknowledge me. Now, this is probably the first shot Sorry. in the hype. Nice. In the Thank hype. You. I'm good now. I needed that. <laughs> in the I'm hype for the, uh, the WrestleMania match. But I'm sure Brock Lesnar has something to say or even an F5 to give next Friday. <laughs> what are your thoughts, man? How excited are you? you I don't know? give. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't care. Like, I, I don't want – I've said this earlier. I think I said this Saturday morning. I don't care that much about seeing Brock and Roman. I want to see Seth Rollins and Roman. Like, that's the storyline I want to see because there's so much still in the air. And I believe they actually did fight um, last night, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, it wasn't televised. 
So, like, I want to see that. I, I, there was too much left in the air after Royal Rumble. You get what I'm saying? No, it wasn't too much in the air. It was too much what? What? Go ahead, say it. What, chairs? What you talking about? No, no, no. You said it was too much left in the air. Yeah. No, it was too much meat left on the bone. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm not Come saying on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, but exactly that. Yes, there was too much meat left on the bone. Exactly. So I need I need more. You know what I mean? I, you need I more need meat? to see this play out. There's too much that was left unsaid or like left undone like this was a rivalry in the making for years bro it can't end you. like that i feel you it was yeah. an abrupt ending it was an abrupt ending i thought yeah i was one of the ones that that thought that um you know the way they ended it at royal rumble was fine because it protected seth um, right. he didn't take a pin um roman cheated but and, they, and he didn't necessarily cheat. He made sure that Seth just didn't get up. He didn't care about taking the loss. Right. He just wanted to make sure that Seth really um, got suffered. Up. He suffered. Yeah. And I feel like looking back at it now, if you look at the character development, I feel like this was great closure for Roman's character because he never really got the revenge that he sought after you know, right from the initial betrayal, you know what I mean? Um, they 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 reunited a couple times in between that first betrayal and now, but it really showed maybe Roman really, even though he 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 was he was forgiving enough to bring him in, mm -hmm. he wasn't forgiving enough to to let that phase be you know in the past and really. No, nah, I mean he even him. said that. He said that, you know, like in that little speech before their match at Royal Rumble, he was like, I've never forgiven you and I won't forgive mm -hmm. you. Like, I hate mm -hmm. you. And, of course, I get it. I understand that. But I just honestly think that, um, you know, that fight just wasn't enough. It was just a get back. But in terms of them fighting, we haven't seen it yet. So when are we going to see it? I mean, we we seen it. We saw it. We saw it in Money in the Bank of twenty what six seven sixteen sixteen. Yeah. They had a really good match twenty sixteen. Yeah, that is Seth true. won. Seth won, but Dean cashed in right after. Mm -hmm. Um, but other than that, you're right. We haven't really seen much. But you know, and these are two different guys from twenty sixteen. That's really my point. That's like, true. That's very true. That's a good it, point. It's real Batman versus Joker vibes to it. You know, it's real mental game that Seth Rollins plays. And I just really like that character. Now, I think that the only other person, and I've said this too, the only person that's primed to really be either Brock or Roman is Seth. That you don't see anybody that really you would believe would be, be, be either think, of those guys. You don't think Drew McIntyre would beat them? Not right now. Not yet. I need a little more. I think that Drew is a great character. Do not get me wrong. I love him as a character. I think that he's great. But this whole thing with Madcap and Happy, it kind of distracted from that right now, and he needs a little bit more. But once that's done, yeah, I can see that being a path. Well, I but feel I like this is right just now. I feel like this is just filler. I feel like Drew's one of those guys you can't leave off the card. So I, I yeah. mean, I feel like I and, and and if he's gonna be on SmackDown, you have to give him probably the second best heel in, in on that brand right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You so, wanna know what's funny though? So, because I don't know if you know about that match, uh, but you know who Brock fought last night? Austin, Austin Theory. Theory. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about him facing um Pat McAfee? That's a throwaway match. That I felt like they they. No, they I'm actually him. excited for that because for Pat Pat is really good. He's yeah, really I gotta watch good. him. I gotta watch his stuff. People were telling me about it in the comments when I was talking about it because I had no idea that he actually wrestled at NXT. He's really good. Yeah. Um, he, uh, a lot of people say Bad Bunny is the greatest celebrity match. I disagree. It's Pat McAfee. Just go watch Takeover Thirty against Adam Cole. That joint was really, really good. He, he yeah. actually impressed me. But no, I'm, I'm definitely you know, got to check it out. It was, it's hard for me not to think that he, you know, he wasn't going to be because he's an athlete. I mean, I feel yeah. like any anybody anybody who really has a passion like Pat McAfee does and is an athlete. 
I feel like you you have to have at least an above average match. Like I feel like if you or I, if you or I went in and had like six months of training, right? We were these huge. Let's say the All Real Crew blows up and we got like ten million <laughs> followers on on Instagram. We'd be like the Pauls. <laughs> no fuck no. We would be better than the Pauls. Um. And like you or I had, you know, six months of training and we got thrown into WrestleMania with, with somebody. I feel yeah. like because of our background in BJJ and we pick you know, it up. I, I did you wrestle? Did you do did you do Greco Roman? Yeah, I wrestled a little bit. I didn't like it, but I wrestled. Yeah, so you know, it's easy it's easy to be able to 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 like learn the holds, be able you to would learn make a some great of heel the Derek. techniques. Not yeah, you would. you. Because you, you thrive on chaos. I would even he'd say make a funny a heel. Heel. you just love he'd chaos. Make a, he'd you'd make be a like a Seth heel. Rollins. <laughs> but no, man. Yeah, I think that. I think that. Yeah, we would pick it up. You know, I, I'm not. Up. I'm not. I'm not doubting that at all. I, but I'm. I'm interested because at first I was like, man, they just gave Austin Theory the shaft. Like, this is gonna be a throwaway match. But mm-hmm. everybody else has been saying, no, this is actually gonna be fun. So this I'm is interested. Be fun. I'm I'm gonna watch. Um, I'm gonna pull this comment back up. No, nah, go for it. But he is decent. <laughs> like if you so so if you don't hold him as high of a standard as somebody who's been training for like eight years, nine years, he's good for a celebrity. <laughs> like I'm I'm not go. mad at what I saw against Adam Cole. Um now if if you really want to be you know critical and be like, nah, he should be if you're gonna step in the ring. I'm gonna hold you to a higher standard. Yes, he's decent. Yeah. He's he's like C plus. Okay. But C plus for that. a celebrity. C plus for a celebrity is good. Yeah. That's good. I'll take that. He's I'll better than that. he's better than a lot of guys who who's had two, three years of training. Bet. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start looking up their ma- his matches because I'm trying to give him a fair shake. Cause I definitely was trashing him before that. I don't like the Sami Zayn and Johnny Knoxville at WrestleMania. I wanted to see him and Shinsuke Nakamura. I wanted that match. Um. Yes. And no. Did you see the last one? Yes. You. What are your thoughts, bro? Because that's one of the best matches of the year right now. Right now, yeah. Um. But I think <clears throat> that I think that Shinsuke has to do something else because he has to be a foil to get Rick Boogs in the ring. And if you mm. have if you have Shinsuke against Sami Zayn, where does that leave Rick Boogs? He's just playing the guitar at WrestleMania. You're right. Um, and I do want to so see Rick Boogs fight more. I want to see Rick Boogs right. too. And so based off of what just happened on SmackDown, you know how Shinsuke and Rick Boogs just got attacked by the Usos. Yeah, you think they'll fight the Usos? Yeah, I, that's, I feel that's like actually that the next one. I feel like that might be... I feel like that might be the match that they're going to go with, and I like that. I yeah. like that. It's a new, it's a new matchup, um, <clears throat> and really how I could see WrestleMania playing out. I could see this WrestleMania as the beginning of the dissension of the bloodline because it's it's one of them is one of them is losing. Yeah, I'm confident one of Dog, them it's, is losing. It's time, bro. It's been too it's long. Time. It's, it's time. definitely time. I, so, I, I think I, I think I think everything I think they're great. I think they've done a great job. Yeah. You know, developing their stories, how they came about. Yep. You know, how Jay came back and he had those two, you know, even though they were, were very one sided, if you look at them from a storytelling perspective, <clears throat> they were great matches. Mm. Um and it was it was a great blueprint for their formation. But I just don't see them having much more to give as a stable. So yeah, I, I feel like I think, they're gonna they're starting to plateau. We I think so too. So yeah. the most that they can do is go heel, mm-hmm. and like that's about face. it. There's not much. I really had the Viking Raiders winning. Like if you saw that fight, it was pretty crazy how agile the Viking Raiders are. Like they're probably gonna make a title run again. Just off of the strength of how good they are and how entertaining they are in the ring. Yeah, I can see that happening too. I was actually surprised that the Usos kept it, but you're probably right. They're, I feel like if anything, the Usos are probably going to give it up at Mania. 
I think they are going to give it up at Mania. I mean, to me, it makes sense. Um, and it's so crazy because <clears throat> they're plateauing, like you said, but their stocks individually are all rising. Like Roman is just continues to skyrocket. Even mm-hmm. though y'all say the Usos are corny, I think they're <laughs> they're I think they're going up. You know, I just think they're they're so they're the difference so between good. the Usos and Roman is that they have each other to help them keep going. Roman just has himself and his his superstardom. You get what That's I'm saying? True. So Roman is gonna plateau a little bit heavier than the Usos will. And that's just because the Usos can piggyback off of each other and they can fully go into the heel. You get what I'm saying? The Usos are already heel, bro. Yeah, I, I would say that the Usos, the Usos are fully heel at this point. Um, we're actually they gonna get heel. to um, you know, who's the best heel turn because we have two people, so we will get to that like near the end. But well, yeah, I think he wants to know like you wanna like, get to next, it? Next, next, next. No, we could we could move on to oh. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, because I don't. I, I mean, next, next. Uh, Jesus. Maybe Randy will go back to heel at some I'll point. T- I'll tell you who needs to go. Who? Drew McIntyre. I can see it. That would make me say title run. That would make me go oh, for title. Oh, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Right now, mm, I'm good with what he's doing. Like, I'm good with what he's doing too. Everything that happened that day one, so I'm good with this. I'm good but with if he does go for if he turns heel, title run, easy, one hundred percent. Yeah, that's that's definitely there. Yeah, that's the that's the heel turn. I'll give you that. But let's go to the let's go to what's coming up next week, bro. So we got the fight night. You know, going back into UFC Santos versus Uncle Live. That's gonna be a good one. I'm super yes. excited. We got two of our guys in it. Shout That's out Sadiq. Super fun, man. Shout out Sadiq and and, and Tafan. Yep. We got our boy Tafan and Tukwi fighting first. And then yep. we got Sadiq Yusuf. So do not ask us our opinions. Do not ask us our predictions. Those are our predictions. They about to whoop ass. Those are oh, our yeah. guys, bro. They, I'm always going it. with 100 I'm always going with always. Always going for life. That's, yeah, that's literally that's literally our guys, man. We've we've watched these guys come up from like the beginning, dog. So yeah, we're we're definitely pulling for them more than anything else. TLI forever, bro. Always. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just Shout wanted to touch on that if real he's quick. Still in it, if he's still in this jump, he also is TLI. Um. So yeah. You said what? Yeah, yeah. I said I said I wanted to shout out Derek too. If he's still yeah, man. in this jump. Shout out Derek. Derek is also. We're gonna get him on here. We gotta get him on here too soon. But y'all need to stay tuned too, bruh, because you know they gonna whoop ass. Yeah. And we gonna get them on the show. Um, because you know Sadiq is is real close with with Jamil in particular. I mean, he knows all of us. But Sadiq, Sadiq is definitely gonna be on this joint. You know, to talk about his his, you know, what what transpires next week. Oh yeah. Um, we'll talk about, you know, what his future looks like, who he wants to fight. Same with Tafan. So, you know, stay <laughs> tuned in because we're gonna start having some guests soon. I know we haven't had any guests yet, but they coming. They coming definitely including Maestro 301. As wild <laughs> as he is, we're gonna have him on the show. Most definitely. We gotta we gotta make that happen. But yep. uh so I do, I do have the roasts, but do you want to do the heel turns first before we do the roast and make the roast last? No, let's do the roast now. Let's do the roast. All right, yeah. so the first one we got, I had to put it up. I was trying to find some some UFC dudes, man, but, you know, I think people are scared to do it, bro. Nobody has the memes. Ain't nobody doing stuff to the MMA folks. I don't give a fuck. I'll go find them. <laughs> That's my homework. All right, bet. Do that. So we, we're doing wrestling again today. So let's do Brock Lesnar, bro. We talked him out uh, a little bit. You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Carbon copy, though. For real, for real. This nigga look just <laughs> Why does it look like, bro, he... <laughs> 
The nigga he, chin. <laughs> hey yo, hey. Right. like he if, if you woke up to this, like on you, like just looking at you, like this was like your paralysis, your sleep paralysis, demon dog. It'd be crazy. I had to bro. shoot myself. You said what? I'd have to shoot myself. Yeah, I'm saying it's over with, dog. Again. It's completely over with. This is no, nightmarish. This he really looks like a big toe. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> he, bruh. He, yes, yes, yes. Duke yes, Nukem. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he looks just to... like Duke Nukem, <laughs> bro. He looks just hey, like yo. Duke Nukem, bro. Somebody pull up a picture of Duke Nukem. Hold on, bro. Yeah, I was about to say you got you got admin privileges. You got to do that, bro. Oh, I'm gonna move on to the next picture too, though. Look at my boy. This don't even look like Brock for real, but this was him. Like <laughs> that is him. Yeah, he like shit. That's he looked like a strong ass Harry Potter character. I'm saying he looked like a, a Harry Potter on THT. My shit. One hundred percent. Straight team. Yeah. Yeah, my man's my man's is real. Like you know what it is, bro. It's funny because we were talking about it with, with Bubbles Lashley and how he was putting on the putting on them suits. He got the same suit. This is where Bubbles Lashley got it from. He was like, fuck it. That, no, I, no, no, no. That is not a Bubbles Lash. That is that is a disrespectful. <laughs> Brock <Oakley. laughs> He do look like a a, a stone a, a, like a um a roided Peter Griffin. Oh, hey, who knows, yeah, this, this is crazy. I had to get a bunch of these, bro. Like, what is this, dog? My oh, man's yeah, going through it. <laughs> I'm trying he look like a, you know what he really is? He really looked like a, drim, a, a drill instructor, like a drill sergeant. Hey, can y'all see my screen? Hold on. Oh, Jesus, hey. yeah. <laughs> Duke Nukem, right? He really is Duke Nukem. He Duke Nukem. He Duke Nukem. Right. He Real Duke shit. Nukem minus all the tats. <laughs> hey, he, yo. He got that nasty-ass military cut. Or he did have it. <laughs> um, he, uh, bro, I used to hate his haircut. Like, I stand, but... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, bro! The Brock <laughs> memes were probably the best joints. Look <laughs> at the Patrick Jones. <laughs> oh my seen, god! Hey, wait, hold on. Have you seen? Oh my the god! The actual video of that. So that was at, <laughs> that was at WrestleMania 29 where he fought a uh, Triple H. Oh you know, you god. see him. He, I don't know, I can't remember what he does, but he just goes, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Be the scheme. <laughs> hey, dog. Bro, Yo. I just hope, I just hope that was not his haircut. Oh my god. Growing up, because he got a million ski boats. Like dog. Joint, bro, he. That's bro, his villain his, origin. The story. back That's of his neck. The back uh, of his neck is a harbor. That's, that's, just, exactly <laughs> what, that's what made him the Brock Lesnar that we know now. It was all them fucking ski boats to the back of his cranium, bro. Even hey. though, even though he looks like, oh my he looks god, like, he looks like a lumberjack who smelled like straight ass cheeks. <laughs> Yo, you ready for the next day? Who do you think yeah. is next, bro? Uh, the Rock. He's up here, but nah, we got John Cena next, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, look at this man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst O face I have ever seen, bro. Like, there's got to be somebody who looks just like that in the moment of climax, dog. I'll be <laughs> trying to figure out who he looks like, bro. I hope you got a picture of his current haircut because he looks like... Bro, he looks like Jim Carrey in all forms. This is a Jim yeah. Carrey-ass haircut, and a, the current him looks just like Jim Carrey, bro. A strong-ass Jim Carrey, too. I stand. 
I swear to God, he looks dumb as he looks dumb as fuck. I'm not gonna. He lie really to you. do, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, really bro, I swear, whenever he be looking mad as shit, he look like he be holding in the shit. That's I like, stamp, dog. Like, what he is getting, this? He be getting a red ass face, bro. And I'm just like, bro, can you calm the fuck down, bro? Dog, I like, can't take him serious, bro. I never can take him serious. He look that like Duke problem. Luka's brother. He apologized to the Rock. He apologized to the Rock. Apparently, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Why? What do you apologize to the Rock for? <clears throat> Taking Jesus. spotlight. But then he almost killed him or some shit. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I can't remember. I, no clue. I think some shit happened, but it's too vague. I don't fucking remember, bro. That's what she said. Chill out. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, look at Lil John Cena, dog. This is my <laughs> <laughs> look at Lil John Cena. You look bro. like you got the knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know they have a, a a dwarf fight league, right? I'm not even joking. There's a dwarf wrestling league. If this man was in it, I would bet all of my money every single time he was in the fucking ring, bro. Oh, yo. Son, he looked like Ebola. <laughs> Son, for all of everybody at home, please look up Ugandan Knuckles after this. <laughs> I swear, he looks just like fucking Ugandan Knuckles, son. Just... <laughs> oh my God. Show Yo. me the way. Show me the way. Show me the way. No, so yeah, apparently it was for making his run. I don't know. I don't know why he would apologize. <sighs> Missing wrestling was seen with oh. making run. Okay, so if if this is what I think it's about, enlighten me. Um. So there was actually some real beef apparently because Cena had thrown some shots at Rock about going Hollywood. Oh, and, now this thing went Hollywood. He, yeah, and now he went fucking Hollywood. Um, I don't know exactly what was said, but it 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 it, it followed along with that because you know Rock left when he was young, bro. Like Rock mm. hung his boots up the first time when he was like thirty. Yeah, um, and a lot of guys are just getting started at thirty. Yeah. So, um, you know, yeah, I feel like Cena Cena probably had That's to insane. apologize because he's a hypocrite. Yeah, he's definitely had to apologize. Even though, even though, no even though Cena's not as bad though, because Cena stuck around with wrestling until full time until he was what 40, 41? Yeah, 41? Yeah. And that's when he really started going Hollywood. But like Rock didn't show up at all. Like he would show up every now and again. But he yeah. we really didn't see him regularly until uh seven years after he left. It's in weird, though, because it's like in the time that The Rock left, it did feel like it was okay in a way. You know what I mean? And it was just because it was like that was the era in like the era where he was in when he left, it was gone. So it was like the Rock that we got in the future was still not the same Rock. You got what I'm, you, you got what I'm saying? He he made it okay. <laughs> Yeah, when, when news came out that he was leaving, it was um, like, all right, because you know he he filmed the Stor- Scorpion King, and then he 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 filmed uh uh, uh Walking Tall, mm-hmm. and that was those were his biggest you know hiatuses during the Attitude Era, mm-hmm. and it at really after he left after WrestleMania 18 to film Walking Tall. People really were like, "Oh, he about to dip out to start making movies," <laughs> and they turned on him, which is yeah. why, which is why what happened at SummerSlam 02 happened. Because remember, mm. they were booing him out of the building, and they were I do rooting remember for that. Brock Lesnar. They were I rooting for Brock, that. and so when he came back, he turned heel. He pivoted, and like his his heel gimmick, you know, he used that as a way to turn and create this memorable gimmick. Like it was very short lived, but it Hollywood worked. Rock, Hollywood Rock worked 
Yo, it was great. He was a heel. He was a heel's heel. But yeah. he was funny as fuck, yo. Exactly. Was it was like the best rock. Like, that That was like one of my favorite, if mm -hmm. not the best rock. Like, that was so mm -hmm. perfect. That he, he leaned into it so perfectly yep. that, yeah, it there is. was nothing to me that, like, uh, that tops that memory of him. You know what I'm the saying? The timing of it all, the timing of it all was it so worked. perfect because, like, watching Rock before he turned heel and before he left, you could see he was starting to go stale. I mean, yeah. he was still rock because he's dynamic, right? He's electric. But, yeah. like, the material, the quality of his promos, it was starting to kind of get cheesy. And so what do you do when a character is kind of starting to plateau and even decline at some point? You change him. And Rock changed. And he reinvented himself. And he got, he, like, shot up like a rocket. And yeah. everybody started to love him again as a heel. Um, so yeah, that rock, that rock, that rock was great. Yeah, nah, you, you're right. You're definitely right. Generation organic, com generating organic conversation. <laughs> you fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get no props. <laughs> My bad. You didn't deserve that. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know where the name is. <laughs> it's the Bud Light Sour Seltzer. <laughs> King. It was a camera. There we go. Oh, shit. No, oh, my fault. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> my bad, dog. All right. But speaking of The Rock, he's the next one for the trolling. Oh, wait. Bro. I said I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. It's all up. <laughs> but look at this nigga, bro. <laughs> hey yo i remember yo. this moment too and i don't know I do why too. yo he used to make this face a lot bro <laughs> brother like his eyes about to pop out of his head bro he looked <laughs> yo there are so many bro like i remember this joint because this die, is die good. die die <laughs> He ugly, bro. He always I said, like. Yo, bro. I wanted Jamil to be on here, bro, because y'all will never let me live this down. There's nope. a picture did of you, me in a turtleneck. Did you get a picture? Did you? It's on Instagram. I hey, I was picture. just about to. I was literally just about to say all his facial expressions, like early on, yeah. he looked like he was on crack. Like <laughs> he legitimately looked like a drug addict. I see. Here, here, he looks like a recovering drug addict. <laughs> he got off the booger sugar. He got off. He got off the booger sugar. No, no. Nah, look at damn. this one though, because you're not even expecting this one, bro. <laughs> he looks like my father. <laughs> I hope he watching and he hope he heard you say that. <laughs> it's so disrespectful, bro. My pops, my pops got long hair too. Thank he you, looks man. Like Thank my you. pops. I think I look Ooh. rather spiffy. These niggas just won't let me live. That's all it is. <laughs> hey, he do look like a totem now, bro. Hold on. Hold hey, on. yo. So real quick, bro. What is worse? What's worse, that one? Or is it the fucking, the Brock Lesnar one? Oh, no, son. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me. Just for quick me. reference. Which one's worse? <laughs> it's definitely, ow, no, son. I think it's I think the Rock. I tell you who he looked like though. Hold oh, on. look who decided to show up and missed it. He missed the count. You missed the three count, bro. No, Hamashu. What are you Hamashu doing? Hamashu missed the three count. He, it's five a.m. there though. I yeah, I'll give that. you a pass. I'll give you a pass. Yeah, but yeah, bro, I took it. I'm actually hurting, but you know it's all good, bro. Hold on, bro. Oh, this who the <laughs> rock looked like, bro. This would this is what he looked like. Hold on, I'm about to share. Go my for screen. it, bro. I'm about to share my screen. Oh, don't tell me I can't do it. Oh yeah, here we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you look like this one in particular. <laughs> 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 
He looked like Dum Dum. He looked Dum Dum. Give me Gum Gum. Give me Gum Gum. <laughs> dum Dum. Give me Yo, Gum Gum. I snap. I snap. Ah, this man is shit. Yo. Oh my God, bro. One more time. I just got to put that. <laughs> I think this is my favorite one so far, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. But yeah, this one, the Spock jump. <laughs> It used to be so disrespectful. Hey, yo, this is a call out. Anybody watching now or in the future? Yo, throw some UFC people on these memes, bro. Some MMA guys, please. Hey, can we please? Oh, wait, is he is he passed? Is Mark Ooh. Coleman still alive? Let me Google it. Don't say nothing else before you I say some wild shit. That's deceased. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Oh, he's still alive. Seconds. He's still alive. Boy, he's still alive. He boy. Yeah. All right, bet. Chill out on my boy, man. Don't do that. No, nah, I'm <laughs> the Mark Coleman, so man. Memeable. I'm, First of all, that, that's the easiest task. That is the easiest task. I need y'all to email us or DM us y'all y'all memes on this stuff, bro. Like, what? Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. I will find you. First and foremost, Samashu, I will find you. He is like my nemesis. I don't know what I ever did to him. He was, he's been calling me out on every single stream that I do, waiting for me to do this count, <laughs> this three count. So, no, we're we're not he even missed cool it. right now. You say, yeah, and then he missed it. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, Derek, yeah, thank you, bro. You got to make some. I need, I need some. I need some MMA memes today. For real, bro. But, oh, man. Hey, it's all good, Hamashu. You know the episode going to end up on YouTube soon anyway, so you can go back and rewind that, John. But he did. You already know. Most definitely. It'll be up more than likely tomorrow, bro. The motherfucker was hurting. He was hurting. Very much so. I almost threw up. It took a few good burps. Those the, it, it took a minute, but I'm good now. I will not lose another one. I don't know when. I don't know when. I don't know what the next bet will be. I don't know what the next one will. Uh, I'm on a roll. Huh? I'm on a roll. I say, you sure? Because I'm on hey, a roll. Hey, man, I was on a roll until you fucking ended it. So don't worry. I'm going to get you back. Don't even worry about it. I kind of look at Your time is coming. But last one, the heel turns. That's something that we wanted to get to. The best heel turns right now. Uh, the first one I want to talk about. Is definitely Edge, bro. I love it. The most shocking one? No, I wouldn't even say it's the most shocking. Really? Neither one was shocking. Neither really? one. Okay. I was I was ready for both. I think the Edge's best work is at heel, if I'm being honest. Oh no, oh, un, un, undoubtedly. Yeah. Like I don't think I don't think anybody would sit here, any wrestling fan. I don't think there's not one wrestling fan that would tell you that Hold on a minute. work is better than their heel work. Is this a challenge? Come on, shoot. Is this a challenge? Are you daring me not to um bet on Pete Dunn? Is that what you think of me? Because I'll make that bet. Just out of spite. Who's is that what we're fight? doing? If like I don't even know like what's what's what what the matchups are for standing and deliver. But if Pete Dunn is on a card, I will make that bet. Just out of spite. Just because you said I wouldn't do it. I don't know. If I, I, that must be a you and a Manchu bet because I don't even know what the fuck's going on. So No, no. So he said, um, so I think that Pete Dunn is going to come for Carmelo Hayes and stand and deliver. I said that. I think. I'm not 100%. So if that I happens, have. I'll rerun that bet. I'll rerun it. I ain't got no fear. That's what I'm saying. But back to the edge, bro. Um, seeing this all play out was so perfect in my in my opinion. Because I mean, if this is gonna be the edge's last run, let this be it. Like let let it play like this. Let him go out on his best work that he's ever done as he looks heel. Crazy as fuck right now. Huh? He looks crazy as fuck right now. But yeah, I mean he's old for one. So like 
looking for this pick, man, it was so weird because you see how he used to look when, you know, he was like in his prime. That man is aged. <laughs> you know what I mean? Age, I don't even think it's the word for it. Yeah. But seeing this was like, you know, he's still there. You know what I mean? Like that character and that dog in him is still there. And it always has been. But seeing the heel is always the best has always been the best edge. Yeah, no, I agree. Um he's always been such an opportunistic um you know character. Mm -hmm. He's always been grimy, he's always been slimy. Um but hey let me share let me share my screen real quick. Hold on. Go for it, bro. I didn't I didn't I mean I, I know he's a white man. But I didn't what? know. I said I know he's a white man, but I did not know that he could accomplish that as a white man. What? What are we doing? Do you see? Look. Oh, look you my... saying he got a blowout, bro? Yeah. You don't show out, my guy. Get this shit off the screen. <laughs> 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 hey, anyway, he said my man's got a blowout. Chill out, dog. Anyway, he's about to get his shit braided. Hey, yeah. bro, put the edges and braids. Give him some straight backs. I would, I oh, would one hundred percent. Yo, Yo I'm saying, fire. give this man some straight backs. Give him a and then look. braid the beard like a Viking. That shit would be so hard, bro. And, and give him a do rag. Yeah, give him a do rag for WrestleMania. Yo, Boy, let's make that shit happen. That give would him be your do so dope. Give him your do rag. Yeah. Oh wait. But um. Yeah, the man is crazy. Get back to it. Yeah, Edge is crazy, and I do think that this is his last name. It feels like it every time he talks. It's like this is it, you know. And if this is it, I'm loving the arc and the story of where this is going. And you know, I am happy that it's going to be AJ Styles. It's going to be a fun you. one. I told you it was going to be AJ Styles. Yeah, you did tell me it had it had to be though because it was the only logical option. Bro, I mean, as soon as I AJ, saw the contract renewal and all the money that they're giving this man, I was like, okay, yeah. Once that happened, it made sense. It made 100% sense. Absolutely. I <clears> thought <throat> it was surprising. I thought it was very abrupt. I, I'm not I'm not mad at it because, honestly, this is a great foil, you know, to set up a, 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 a good dynamic for the match. Because, yep. you know, after it happened, I was really thinking, I was like, well, would this match have been really good had it been face versus face? Probably. I mean, it would have been good. It would have been good. Don't get me wrong. But it's probably going to be better this way. Um, Because, you know, we've seen some great face versus face matches at Mania. Yeah. You know, I.e. <coughs> Taker in uh, Michaels. Mm -hmm. Rock in Rock and Stone Cold. Even though Stone Cold turned heel during the match. Yeah, I was about was to say. Face, yeah. He was still a face going into the match. Mm -hmm. um, so it would have worked. It would have found itself a way to work. Because if you give two workers that spotlight in 20 minutes, they will work something out. You know what I mean? And Edge has never put on a dud performance. Ever. No, he's not. I mean, to me, to me, he had the best. He has had the best match on a WrestleMania card before. Yeah. Even though it's crazy enough that uh Michaels and Vince McMahon won you know match of the year that year. Bullshit though. They didn't have the best match that night. It was yeah. Mick, it was Mick and Edge. And it was almost like not even close. Um one of the most memorable matches of all oh, time, too. It's got one of the most memorable spots. Yeah. Um so Edge can <laughs> deliver, bro. And uh, Styles, Styles has always delivered. Does he have, yeah. have a standout match at, at Mania? No, they all, they're all very good, but none of them really separate have separated, you know, one from the other. Yeah. Um, his match with Shane was really good. His match with Shinsuke was it was pretty good. The end kind of soured it. It was yeah. definitely shocking, but I really didn't care for the end of that one. Uh, who did who else has he fought? Last year's Mania was and eh, so so with uh Omas and New Day, but you know, I think Styles is really looking for his first like instant classic. <clears throat> and who and Edge is gonna give that to him? 
Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like There's Monster nobody on this bro, roster that would give him, except yeah, Seth. Ed Seth literally would give him has the best track record, especially at WrestleMania. Every time he steps in the ring, though, it's always a banger, bro. Like, yep. you can't name a boring edge match. It's just mm -hmm. not possible. So, you know, I'm I'm glad to see this, this heel turn 100% because this just signifies to me that this is going to be the another super memorable match because he's gonna bring that fire. I agree. Yeah, I agree. And, and I mean to your point too, that's like Joseph said, yeah, he's been a mixed bag, but Edge hasn't. And AJ Styles has that star quality and that entertainment quality no matter what, too. So it's gonna be a great match, bro. It is gonna be a very good match. And yeah. I think Edge Edge's heel would will bring the intensity that the match needs for yeah. it to be a a you know an instant classic because I'm trying to keep my expectations to the floor, but I really do think that this match could be the one that steals the show. Yeah. But I yeah, agree I, with everybody. I I agree with every with everybody saying, you know. Me too. He had a, right. he had a really exactly good match. The same thing. I'd give I'd give his match against Shane McMahon a four. His match against Shinsuke was like a three and a half. His match against, you know, the New Day last year was like a two. I can't all remember who he was. <laughs> All edges, eh, they're not all fives, but they're all pretty good. And and but he does the pro that you know the difference between styles and edges. Edge has a distinguishable, he has two distinguishable WrestleMania matches, as a matter of yeah. fact. His yeah. match in 17 <clears throat> with the Hardys and the Dudleys, yeah, and the one with Mick, you know. He's got two mm. of them. And, Super classics. I mean, the year before that, he won the very first ever Money in the Bank match, and that match was godly. I remember that. So Edge, Edge, has, Edge has been really, really money more times than not in Mania. I wouldn't necessarily say all of his matches have been very good because his match at 25 with Cena and Big Show was, man, eh, it was so so. You didn't like it? It was okay. No, um, I'm with it. They they can be real hit or miss sometimes with triple. I was about threat. to say yeah, Edge and Taker, Edge and Taker. Edge was and Taker a, was a good match. That very was good great. Match. His match against Chris Jericho at twenty six was pretty good. His match against Alberto Del Rio was so so. We already talked um, about this one. That ladder match. That's that's that ladder match. Man. Shit, both Hold of them. On. 16, 16 and seventeen. Yeah, both of them were fire. Oh, the one at eighteen with Booker T was and eh, so so so. You know, he's okay. more he's more hit than this. <clears throat> but if there's somebody that's gonna give AJ Styles the instant classic, it is Edge. Yeah. It's Edge. Yeah, no, nah, I agree. But second heel turn that I want to bring up, because I love it and I've been talking about it too. Damian Priest has finally gone full heel. And last night at um at the you know the the WrestleMania road to WrestleMania that they did. He got DQ'd in his match. Really? So yeah. Like? Yeah. I don't I don't remember all the details, but yeah, he is full on heel. Good. And I love it. We needed this from him. I think Good. that this is gonna propel his character so much higher than what the United States uh championship was ever gonna do for him. He's he needs to move on to bigger and better, and him being Good. heel is gonna give him that one hundred percent. That's a world champ right there. Yeah, it's contender, coming. contender. It's coming. Yeah, like this was so great. I think that him not giving a shit about the crowd is even better. I was tired of seeing the priest, bro. Yeah, it's about damn time indeed. 100% agree, man. This was in the making for way too long, and I'm so glad that they finally allowed this to happen. It's going to be so great. I'm ready for this run. He's about to go on a monster run. He is about to go on a monster <clears throat> run. They you know what it is? It Huh? They've been teasing it for way too long, though, because like yeah, it's, they, it's they look like the, they wanted the to split, you know that yeah, split. exactly. So they look like they work. wanted to, they look like they wanted to dip their toe in, and then they took it out, and they was like, nah, maybe not, and then they did yeah. it again, and then they're finally about to, you know, they're really in on it, they're invested in it. Mm -hmm. I always thought that Damian Bruce was, was better as a heel, even mm -hmm. in NXT, even though <clears> this Damian Priest. Is not what we saw in NXT. Right. In NXT, he was more, I'll say, humane. Um, he was a heel because he was cocky, he was brash, 
but he wasn't vicious like what he was last night. Mm. Last night could be like, you know, that that gimmick could be what propels him into, you know, you know, a bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, he's he's a world champion. If he if he can stick with this this gimmick, if he can perform it well, if he can execute it, this is made for him. It's not even a question. I'm confident he's a world champ. You know what I want to see now that he is fully healed? Like, in the coming weeks, I don't want to see it immediately, but him and Amos, I want to see that match. I don't. I do. I want to see that. I want to see him. Huh? Amos is trash. No, like, you can say what you want, but, yeah, nah. Like, the the matches that Amos has been doing have been kind of fun to watch. Not even going to hold you. Amos They've been better. They have been better. And I think that they need that because it's gonna it's gonna make Damien propel even further if he beats Omos. You get what I'm saying? It would just work. It would work better in his favor if he fights him. That's what I'm saying. So I'll tell you what needs to happen <laughs> with Damien Priest. Damien Priest should be dominant for the next few months, but I really think he needs to move. To SmackDown, mm, that's there is interesting. there is nobody on the Raw roster that you know. Damian Priest can always you know do I things agree. for himself. He will he will do things for himself that will propel him into that right. next level. But they they always say it that you're only as good as the guy that's in the ring with you. And there is nobody right now who really fits, you know, his style yeah. that will propel him. Like so Finn Balor is a great though. introduction, but he's not, he's not, he's not the guy that's going to make Damien the star in this new role. I, I can, I can see why you say that. I do agree with that. But if he goes to SmackDown, I mean, the only challenge, like, he's coming for the, the the universal title, right? Like, if he goes to SmackDown, that's who he's going against. He's going against Roman Reigns. He ain't beating him. You know he, what I'm he, saying? He not, but <laughs> there's a guy there that, that's going to be Roman Reigns. That would be a good foil for for Drew, uh, for uh, Damian Priest. And who is that? Drew McIntyre. That would be a fire match. That would be a fire match. Drew and Damian just, Priest. That it needs to. Match. It needs to develop more. Like he it has will. all the potential right now, but it needs to develop more. The story up to that needs to develop more. But that's, that's why I said. That's why I said you develop him over the next four months, and then. But so you're you know, saying when that when in, Drew McIntyre goes full monster mode, that Damian Priest is going to be the guy to beat him? Because I don't see that either. He could. I don't think he will, but I think he would be a very good contender to beat I Damian think, Priest. No, I agree. So so here's where I'm at. I hear everything that you're saying. If we're saying that Damian Priest will go on a championship run, the only way that that is going to succeed, I think, is in Raw. But if we're talking entertainment, the most entertainment and the most entertaining fights that he's going to provide is at SmackDown. I agree with that. But he is not getting a title. Not, not a big one. He might get the Continental one, but... Yeah, nah, he's not getting uh, he's not getting nothing uh nothing huge. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Dominic Dominic Djokovic? Yes. Don, bro. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Yes, yes. But they're <laughs> not going to book they're not going to book T-Bar right. I hate that fucking name. Just like I hate Gunther, but like <laughs> bro, Dominic Yes, Dominic Djokovic was great in NXT. I think they didn't they fight in NXT once. Anyways, if they had if they had not fucked up a good thing, because you know, little do people know, but Triple H gift wrapped to Dominic Djokovic mm. to Vince McMahon too. Um, but they put him in retribution and that kind of fucked him up. Um but had Dominic been been booked right Yes, he would have been a great contrast to to Damian Priest because they have very similar builds, very similar skill sets, um, very talented performers. By the way, um, I mean Keith Lee, Keith Lee and Dominic have had some of the better Wednesday night in the NXT matches I've ever seen. 
Yep, there it is. Yeah, I was about is. to put I that just, up. I just said it. Yep. Um, him and him and Keith Lee had some fire matches in 2019, bro. Unbelievable. Um, so yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't they see them fight. booking T bar right. Like you said they did fight, they fought in NXT. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Because they they were all they were all kind of similar. They all had styles that meshed very well together. Um and you know, that's just you know the beauty of Triple H because he knows what the fuck he's doing. But yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting to see back to Damian Priest. I just don't I don't know anybody on Raw who will get him over the hump. Like he'll be believable. But will yeah. people be invested? That's that's the that's the main question. I mean, like I said, bro, in SmackDown, that is probably the smarter move. But what's going to get him there? Maybe Riddle. Mm, I just Randy don't see Moss being. I just maybe Randy. Um, but I. You, yeah, never, I was about to say it would be a tired match. I don't really want to see Orton and Brock. But if Orton got the the world heavyweight title, Damian Priest and Orton will be a good match. But here's the thing, though, right? Check it in the words of Jamil. <laughs> Randy Orton has a, as a face <clears throat> has never done anybody justice as a heel outside of uh, maybe Mark Henry. He he did well for Mark Henry, but think about the guys. Who Randy? Think about the heels that Randy has really put over as believable. Mm. The Miz cashed in on him, and the Miz was a good WWE champ. I'm not taking away from the Miz. Mm. And and yes, the psychology of it all is to create a guy that people are invested in only because you want to see him lose. And and the Miz yep. was 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 great in that role. But I really don't see, outside of those two guys, Randy as a face has never done great in really taking a heel to the next level. Like, to me, Mark Henry was already there. He had been there. He just kind of reestablished himself after a face run. Um, Right. (laughs) I'll give you the Miz, but the Miz wasn't a, he wasn't a dominant heel. Um, the Miz has always been a certified mid Carter. Mm-hmm. He did he did well, but with Brock. But my point is, like Brock and Mark Henry were already established. Like people knew about Brock and Mark Henry. They knew exactly what they could do. It's so about- what, I'm, what I mean by like it would be good. Well, one, I do want Orton to go back heel. I just don't see how that will happen. Oh, turn on Randy. I mean Riddle. You, yeah, yeah, but. The only way that sets up is after a few more runs with RK Bro, and because that's still going on pretty strong. I feel like we are coming to the end of it. I think by the end of this year. So if that happens and Randy goes heel, I think the match to make in the future is Randy and Damian Priest. And if that happens, Damian doesn't have to go nowhere because that is the match. You get what I'm saying? But if you make Randy, if you make Randy heel, then. That that just wouldn't make sense because you're making a heel versus heel match. But we know that heel versus heel matches can be good. It's not a question over that. You know what I mean? It's just it can be, be good. More it's very like, rare. You said what? They can be good. It's it's just very rare. But I don't think that it wouldn't be good. I think that their characters are really completely different. And with Damian Priest being younger than Orton too, it would be a good work. You get what I'm saying? I think that story would be good. I don't know. I just don't see that happening. I don't see uh-huh. that happening. They they don't have they don't have two styles. They they both have styles that I don't really see as making a banger of a match. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I just don't see it. I don't see a Hill Randy champ going up against a Hill Damian Priest and one that match being good and two that Thank couldn't you. look at that. Me and Amanshu may be better rivals, but we be talking the same shit, bro. We okay, be knowing. Me and Joseph, me and Joseph, <laughs> me and Joseph be agreeing on a lot of things. Um, I just don't see it working. 
Um, would it would it would it put the title on Damian Priest and would it put it on him in somewhat of a decent fashion? Maybe, but yes, it would be anticlimactic. No it would be anticlimactic from 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 the aspect that uh, you're supposed to be creating this monster heel. I don't. But, I just don't see it doing it. But you got now. Also you know. Realize... You know who. Okay, now you know who was a really, really good worker for a big man that could have did it, but he's not there no more. Braun Strowman could have did it. He could have did it. Oh, he could have did it, bro. No, you know I actually said this on the um on the quick joint that we did for control your narrative. Vonda's drunk ass was talking to Braun Strowman for like half the night, and we she didn't even know who it was. Are you? He serious? was just there and control your narrative. Yeah, and he was. So that was her first wrestling event that she's ever been at. And so she was asking questions, and I guess he heard. So he just went over and started, like, explaining shit to her. Man. Didn't get no pictures. Didn't get nothing. She just came back to me and was like, yeah, like, dude was telling me about everything. I was like, who? They brought Strowman right there. <laughs> bro, she plugged the all real crew, bro. Come on, son. She ain't no. Right That's there. A- literally. Like, I'm looking at this nigga's bald head, everything. Like, he's right there. I was so hurt. Damn. Right Damn, bro. Um, to your point, Manchu, yes, worth the watch. It's definitely different. Give it a shot. I I, I touched on it earlier. You know, I don't want to I don't want to take away from everything else by going back to control your narrative, but yes, it is really good. Just give it give it some time, man. It just started. Literally, that was like the very first live event and it's only its third thing that it's done. But other than that, yeah, it was dope. Definitely dope. But yeah, man. I'm out of beer. Uh, I'm out of wine. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, I think I'm good, bro. I think I'm done. I, I, I ain't got nothing else. That's all I got. Anything else you want to add? Yeah. No. Nope. So let's wrap it up then, man. This was a fantastic episode, though. I had a lot of fun with this. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, this was awesome. Um, a lot of great things happened this week. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. I fuck with it. I'll take it. Then yes. Well, what do you What do you have to do? What do you I'll have do a to three do? Count. To Another do a three one. Count. Good God. I'll do a three count. Okay. Like I just feel like that's that's a punishment enough. You know what I mean? Like I feel like we already have our punishments, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not doing a whole nother set of some wild ass punishments. If the three count is the is the regular punishment, that's the control group. Let's just keep that the control because this is bad enough. I don't need worse for right. regular punishment. You get what I'm saying? All right, you can fade it. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Nigga, that's for you too. And anybody like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, I told you, it's for the drinkers. Jamil can't do it because he don't drink. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll I, make him I, do I wouldn't, handstand wouldn't, push-ups or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll so figure something he will out. do something physically tolling. Uh, yeah, a hundred push-ups in less than five minutes. He has uh, to eat a whole cheesecake in two minutes. Some shit. It'll be something. 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 Yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll get to it. Hey, but, but you know what? Hold on. Let me ahead. plug. Let me plug. Let me plug. Uh, wait, wait. So. Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we are introducing a new show hosted by. Moi. It's truly called the count out, and I will be counting down from ten to one the best moments in the WWE for that week. Stay tuned. Sir-ski. All the count outs will not be in ex- I mean, will not be uh you know weekly related because I will be doing some count outs historically, and we, <laughs> we will you know stay tuned on those, but. Nevertheless, we starting that up this week. Stay posted, stay tuned, because that is going to be on the net soon. Yeah, most definitely, man. We got a lot of things coming. I said this before, man. This is just the beginning of Take It to the Ring, All Real Crew, uh, Fight Kitties, all that, bro. We are literally just getting started, so you guys are literally coming in right at the beginning. And I honestly feel like we're starting off hot, bro. This has been fun. This is awesome. And, you know, you guys as fans have been great, man. And, like, we appreciate y'all tuning in, giving us feedback, all that, bro. And I'm giving y'all y'all homework. 
for the All Real crew. Give us memes of these MMA guys. I'm tired of just picking on these wrestlers, bro. What are they gonna say? I need, I need know. that. Let them yeah, know I want to see you guys' work and do that from now on, man. Let's put that shit up. I'm super excited. But yeah, man, as always, follow TTR Wrestling, the All Real Crew. We're finna get more active on the Instagram page for sure. Um, follow us on YouTube, like, follow, subscribe, all that shit, man. But until next time, guys, this is Tijon and Noah and Jamil and Spirit. <laughs> you get me? And until next time, guys, keep it real.